Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where you can level up your Weeb level by learning some trivia on the Japanese culture and language, and some nuances that were lost in the translation of an anime. In this case, for the 11th episode of Onimai. In this episode, we finally got the name of the blue hair girl that we saw a couple of times in previous episode and was always sleeping, Nemu. And it's a really fitting name because in Japanese, Nemui means to be sleepy. A bit random, but the Japanese word for the astrological sign Sagittarius is Iteza, written with shoot, hand, and a kanji that is usually for sitting, but in this context it comes from Seiza, the word for constellation, and have a meaning of gathering or collecting like a collection of stars. When Mahilo reads the horoscope of Miyari that says that she should avoid being argumentative, he then said Don Pishari, which was translated into It's got you pegged. The usual meaning of that Japanese expression is to talk about something that fits perfectly with the current situation. The origin of it is not clear and have a couple different theories, one of them is that the dawn comes from when a do is used before something to reinforce it, like in do mannaka, right in the center, and pishari will come from pittari, perfectly. Another theory is that they are onomatopoeia, with dawn being the sound of a cannon being fired, and pisha, the sound of a target being hit right in the middle. In the scene with the animal horoscopes, when Mahiro gets asked about his animal before the big reveal, he used a Yojichukugo, a four character compound expression, Temai Miso, translated into Not to blow my own trumpet. Temai usually means in front of you, at end distance, but in this expression, it has a meaning more towards something homemade, made with your own hands. And the second part of the expression is the word miso, the same thing as when talking about a miso soup. Miso is a fermented condiment usually made from soybeans, but can vary a lot. In the past, it was something often made differently in each household, and it was a source of pride to have developed a good miso recipe that you could show off to others. Over time, it became an expression more general, to talk about praising yourself. Mahiro used a particular term to describe Momiji and the others barging in for his birthday, Kachikomi. It's a slang term similar in meaning to Nagurikomi, to talk about launching an assault or a raid on a location. But this one comes from the very particular vocabulary used by the Yakuza. And the exact origin of the term is uncertain, but it's thought to have originally been used to talk about the action of breaking glass, which was often associated with the start of a fight, when a Yakuza groom would go attack another one. Another Yojichukugo was used in this episode, after Mahiro abused a bit too much is anything you want to get, but this time by Mihali, Inga Oho. It's an expression that comes from Buddhism to talk about the concept of karma. The first two kanji comes from gen in causes, and koka results, or consequences if we want to have something that fits the English expression. It's to express that your actions in this life will have consequences in your next one. The next part is from ojite, in proportion to, and mukui, punishment or recompense towards something that you did. To say that your actions will have a punishment or recompense in proportion of its severity. When Mio says that kids their age like to dress up a little, and Asahi directly says that she doesn't care about that stuff, the way that Mio reacted was with the expression Hanashi no koshi o olu. The figurative sense of the Japanese expression is to interrupt someone or to butt in. The literal sense of it is to break or fracture the hip of the conversation. The hip is seen to be an important part of the body, 
responsible for a lot of the movement of twisting and bending the body. So breaking it, the important part of the conversation, will make it useless. For those that didn't know, in Japanese culture, the event of Valentine's Day is actually split into two days. On February 14th, it's the day for girls to give chocolates to boys. And one month later, on March 14th, called White Day, boys will give back chocolates to girls. There's also a common saying that boys need to give back triple the value of what they received. Which is what the guys were talking about later in the episode when they said that the fancy chocolate didn't cut it. This week's artist that drew the end card is Namoli, the mangaka who writes and draws the manga You Do You Do. She also participated on the anthology manga spin-off of Onimai that a bunch of different mangaka contributed on. That's all I had for this episode, and you know what to do? Like this video to let me know if you want me to continue this series, comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising, and of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff.